Hi everyone and welcome to a short two-parter where we're going to go through the process of creating a compass for the top of your screen. Uh, compass is often used by RPGs for navigation purposes and it's a handy way for you to tell the player which way they're facing, north, east, west or south. So in this first part we're going to go through the actual creation of the compass and explain how it works in relation to texture wrapping and um, implement that into our game. So let's take a look. So let's first of all understand how a compass would work. So what we're taking with us is a fundamental core understanding of how textures and UV mapping works. A texture, when you brought into Unreal, uh, by default will be set to wrap, which basically means it will loop the texture over and over again when it exceeds its length. And you may have noticed before if you've applied materials to other objects and you see it repeating the pattern, like for example, the grid squares you see around here it's just a looping pattern well if we could take that knowledge here and make it scrollable infinitely so that we can change the orientation of a texture based upon its uv settings okay so i brought in here a compass texture i made in photoshop and it's pretty simple all you've got to do is you put north in the middle and you put w e and s you want to put directly in the middle of each side okay so it's going to loop at that point so you need to make sure it's seamless in that point so just make sure you line it up and use snapping tools to help you line it up properly and obviously put any markers you want to put in like little dots or something in between you're more than welcome to do that now i'm also going to provide this image you can find it, the download link in the description below if you want to use this image i made you're more than welcome to now you may have noticed on the right hand side if you scroll over here to texture you'll see on the advanced section for texture, it's set to wrap. Okay, that's default. That's what we want. Okay, so it, if we scroll this picture along, it'll just play the picture again. So with that knowledge in mind, we can go into creating a material for our compass. So we go into material and we'll do compass and open this up. And in here, we're going to um, build up our texture. So first of all, we need the actual image itself. So let's get a texture sample and find our compass image like that. And um, simply plug this into base color. We can see it coming up there. Okay. But if I wanted to just scroll it along, that's where UVs come in. Okay. And that's how you can change it. UVs are just the coordinates of the texture. So if I hold down U and left click, I'll add a texture coordinate node. You can also right click and search for it. And I can manipulate this by putting that in here, okay? So what I can do is I can change the value. Because at the moment, the UVs are this between zero and one. So let's say I want to increase or scroll it along. I just add a value to it. And adding one to it just makes it exactly the same because you're adding basically another texture on top of it. But if I put, 0.5 you'll now notice it's added it's s in the middle you also notice it's gone down the reason why it's gone down is because we're adding 0.5 to both u and v so it's, it's scrolling it downwards as well so we can't just put in 0.5 or put in our variable in here so we need to split it up so we're going to drag out from here and do append and do append vector and input b is going to be just zero Okay, so all we're going to do is hold down one, left click, and plug that into zero, into B. The A, though, will be our X value. Okay, so it's the UV value, U value, sorry. So we're going to put in another parameter in here. And again, if I put in like 0.5, for example, you'll see it scroll to the S. You can see it looping, it looking quite good. Just check, make sure when you, whenever you do make your own textures that they do loop uh, and wrap seamlessly. Which it does like here um, but this obviously will be a parameter that we have to feed it okay so we're going to right click on this and convert to parameter and we'll call this offset okay and we'll default that down to zero like that uh, next thing i want to turn this into a ui material so this is currently a surface material so it'd be applied to models we want it part of our ui so we're going to click on the big brown box here and change the domain to user interface and I can plug that into there. Now this image I've brought in here has an alpha channel so I can make this transparent by going into where blend mode and it says opaque change it to translucent 
and the alpha I'm going to plug into Pasi there. Okay. And because mine's black text, I want white on my screen, make it a bit clearer and easier for you guys to see. I'm going to do one minus just to flip it. There you go. Easy to see now, isn't it? So that is the core basics of the graph for the material. So pretty simple. Now there's other things we can do to make it look fancier, which we'll go through later on, but let's go move on for now. So the main crux is that offset value. Okay, so we are using that inside our UI widget. So let's create a widget for this. And we'll do this W compass. And in the compass widget here, we're going to do quite something, uh, something quite simple. We're going to have an overlay panel, first of all. And the reason why we're having an overlay panel is because later on, I'm going to show you how to add icons to it rather than just the um, coordinates. You can actually add icons, so objective trackers, things like that to it. And we need an overlay to be able to do that. So make sure you tick that to be verbal. And we'll just name it overlay panel. Like that. And inside that overlay, we're going to just drag an image in. So find image and drag that in. And the image here we're going to set to is our material. So I'm going to go to a brush and search for compass and put our material compass in there. Now, it will be by default squished up because overlays will squish it all up in the top left. Just stretch it across the whole entire thing. And there you go. Now, you may want to tick desired uh, on the screen. So to fill screen, to desired on screen. But as you see, it'll squish it way, 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 way down. Okay, the reason why you're getting that is because the image size is set to 32 by 32. Change this to match whatever you're seeing is the size of your image. So I set mine to 360 by 100. So that is more accurate to what I've actually got. But obviously, you just put in whatever size image you're using here. And this is not a big deal because we're going to add it to our screen and customize it anyway. But it just saves a little bit of hassle later on. Okay, um, next we're going to go to the graph. So on the graph, we are going to first of all create the material, the dynamic material that we can use as part of our brush. So we're going to right click, create dynamic material instance, choose our compass material, plug that in, and I'm going to promote that to a variable. Compass material. And then I'm going to set it to my image. So I'm going to drag out my image and do set brush from material. Plug that in and assign it there. Okay. The next thing we need to do is make it move. So we're going to go to the tick. And we want to change a scalar parameter on our material. That's what we're doing when we go into our material here and change the offset. It's a scalar here. So on our compass, we're going to drag out our compass material. And from there, do set scalar parameter value. And it's going to ask for a parameter name. And it'd be just the name what we set in the material called offset. Plug it into tick. And the reason why we're using tick is so it updates all the time to match your actual direction. Um, but if you want to do it on a timer, you're more than welcome to, but tick is just fine for something like this. Um, and then the actual value calculation comes from the player's current rotation. So you can get player character and we're going to get the control rotation. So if you want which way the camera's facing, you're basically using control rotation. If you want which way the actor's facing, you'll use get, uh, actor's rotation. Um, either way, that's what you want to do. So we're going to take the control rotation here. We're going to split it. And we're only worried about the yaw. We're going to drag that out and divide this by 360. Now, the reason why I'm divided by 360 is because there's 360 degrees in a circle. Our image is also 360 by 100. So it divides nice and easy. Um, so if you treat like a zero to one on a UV is zero to 360, this just brings it back down to 360. So I can just drag that, drag that in to there. 
Okay, and now that'll work. So let's add it to our screen um, in our game. So I'm going to go and create a little HUD. My player character to have. Let's go player HUD. And we're going to go add a canvas and add a compass to the top of our screen. There it is. So I'm going to go to the anchors on the right hand side and hold down control and shift and click this one here and it'll snap it to the middle and I'm going to take size to content as well. There we go, there's our compass. Hit compile and save and we can close that. Now I just need to add that to the screen. So I'm going to go into my, I just put it in my character, very simple to do. And on begin play, I'm going to do create widget. choose compass no not compass sorry player hud and right to variable hud and then we're going to go and uh, add to people okay so now if i push play you'll notice if i'm looking up to north the north is showing on the compass but I feel like as I turn east south west and the image itself is just going to loop around wrapping around perfectly each every single time yeah and yeah it works a treat okay so we've got all the different directions that we could possibly walk in our compass So there you go, we've got a simple compass now at the top of our screen. Uh, however, let's kind of make more use out of it and put in icons for our different objectives. So in the next part, we're going to go through the process of adding icons to our compass uh, through the use of a component to make things a lot easier for us to uh, decide what icon it should be using and automating that process. You can watch the next episode right now over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley. We can find all my videos early from just $1 a month. Thanks to all my patrons and YouTube members for the continued support. Thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.